Hi there, John, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the 7-step system to pass a tool for IBT. So we've exchanged some emails, and first of all, you have two months to prepare for the TOEFL exam. This is what you sent me in your email. You want to score over 100. So you said, what kinds of materials should I read? What should I do? I must get that score because it is indispensable. So I sent you back an email asking you what your TOEFL score is right now because there's no way I can answer your question until I have some idea of what your current academic English language proficiency abilities are. All right, so finally we have all the information. Now in the final email I think you sent me, you said my current TOEFL score is 65. I have a lot of problems in reading, especially in writing and speaking, and recommend me the best study plan, sir, regards, John. All right, now we're moving in the right direction. So now we have a time frame, we have a goal, and we, have, we already have a TOEFL score that you've taken. So I have some idea what you need to be doing now. Now, first of all, you have two months to prepare. That's not enough time. That's not enough time to go from 65 to 100. My, oh, my, that's a big goal you have. If you said, Michael, I want to get 80, I wouldn't even recommend two months preparation for 80. That's a big score coming from 65. If you're, if you're already at 80 and you want to get 100, that's a super big improvement from that level. But you're trying to go several different levels higher than your current English language ability. And that's going to take more than two months of preparation. But I have some recommendations for you, John. All right. So just hang in there, Ryan. I'm, I'm going to talk to you, give you some things. But you, got, you have to be comfortable with the fact that it's going to take longer than two months for you to reach your goal. As long as you're okay with that, then we can continue here. Okay, let me just tell you a quick story. What if you go to the doctor and you say to your doctor, uh, I need to lose five pounds. Do you have a study, do you have a diet plan I can follow for 30 days to achieve my result? Now, if your doctor handles weight loss type uh, cases and the doctor says, sure, I got, a, I got a plan for you. I have some things you can do. So if you want to lose five pounds in 30 days, that's reasonable. What if you go to your doctor and says, uh, hey, I need to drop 20 pounds. Uh, do you have a good diet plan for me? And the doctor's going to say, well, yeah, you probably, if you follow a three to six month plan, you can probably achieve your result. So to to drop 20 pounds in three to six months, that sounds pretty reasonable. Now, what if you go to your doctor and say, I have 100 pounds I need to lose, right? What's the best, the safest, the most efficient way for me to lose that weight? And then you tell your doctor, you have only two months to lose that weight. What do you think your doctor's going to say? Probably not going to give you any good plan for two months. The doctor's going to say, well, I have a one to two year plan, maybe a three year plan. Here are some things you can do beginning this year and next year that can help you safely and in long term way drop that way. Do you see what I'm saying? So you're coming to me trying to improve from 65 to 100. That's almost like saying, I want to lose 100 pounds in two months. That's almost what you're trying to do here. It's almost the same kind of situation. All right, so what is my best guess? My best guess for you, you're looking at a year to probably a year and a half, so 12 to 18 months. I mean, if you study hard, if you follow my plan, I think you can achieve your result. Uh, I don't think you can achieve this result in just a few months. It's really going to take a lifestyle change for you in order for you to reach a score of 100. And you will go through multiple, more than likely, you'll go through multiple TOEFL exams uh, before you reach that, that result. If you take it in two months and work super, super hard, 
my best guess is you'll probably score between 75 and 80 if you follow the plan I'm recommending for you now. You see how it is? So probably two months from now, you'll be at about 75 to 80. And then after that, if you work really, really hard and you continue to follow the plan I'm going to outline now, probably two or three months from then, that puts you at about six months, you'll probably be somewhere between 85 and 95. But it's going to be tough to get to 100, so that's going to take maybe two or three more months on top of what you've already done to reach that goal. That is the nature of the TOEFL exam. That is really the nature of second language acquisition. It takes time and practice. It takes motivation. It takes a positive attitude, more practice, more time, and all of those things. So first thing you can do right now is start reading. You've probably watched some of my videos. You know that I recommend this to all of my students. So for you, you are no exception. So I'm going to say here, start reading for about 45 minutes daily. Do that first. This is a methodical thing. You do not let a day go by that you don't do your reading practice. My recommendation is to read magazines, newspapers, and longer books. Now, as you do your reading practice, I recommend uh, newspapers, magazines, and books, like I said, and start keeping a reading slash vocabulary journal. I'm going to recommend several different journals for you. One of them is a reading vocabulary journal where you can start recording some of the new words that you're seeing in the reading passages that you're practicing. So I recommend about 45 minutes every day. Now the next one, I recommend that you practice listening for about 45 minutes every day. Same thing. In this case, if you have English TV, this is going to work out very good. If you have English TV, I recommend news, history, documentary, and especially science programs. I think that would be a great way for you to really improve your listening comprehension skills. But remember, if you're doing reading and listening practice, you have to be active in that, and that means note-taking. A lot of students. I'm teaching some students at California State University, San Bernardino, right now. So these guys are saying, hey, Michael, I'm having trouble with my note-taking. I'm having difficulties taking notes and listening to lectures at the same time, right? So I come into class. Class starts. They don't even have their paper out. They're not taking any notes at all. So I say, if you're going to get better with your note-taking, you should start practice. You should start practicing. Take notes in all of your English language program classes. They're like, oh, why do I need to do that? I'm like, dude, you're the ones telling me you have note-taking problems. So I'm going to say the same thing to you. Note-taking is absolutely the key. If you want to get over 100 on the TOEFL, you have to be good at arranging your notes. You have to arrange notes in categories. You take notes on reading passages. You take notes on listening passages. And then guess what? You have to use your notes to speak and write about that information. And that's what we call the integrated speaking and integrated writing sections of the test. That's what you're doing when you're doing your practice. So my recommendation is pretty simple. After you're doing your reading and your listening practice, make sure that you have some notes. And here's my fourth suggestion. You should start writing. I recommend that you write three 250 word summaries each week. It's going to be boring. Not the funnest thing for you to do in the world, but it's going to help you with your TOEFL and your ult ultimately your academic English language abilities. Number five, again, using your notes. You're using notes from the reading and the listening passages. I want you to give three 60-second oral summaries each week. You're using your notes to write and speak about information. And that's it. Here we go. So now, now I don't know your exact schedule. I don't know how much time you have to spend. But if you want to get over 100, you should be spending, I'm guessing, several hours a day. So I'm going to say 60% of your time right now, whatever free time you have, 60% of your time should be spent following suggestions 1 through 5, or steps 
1 through 5. Now, 40% of your time right now should be spent following steps that I'm going to outline right now. Which brings me to step number six. This is where my online TOEFL course comes in. Remember that steps one through five, John, have nothing to do with my online TOEFL course, but they have everything to do with your academic English language ability. Now, especially when you're doing steps one and two, the reading and the listening practice, this is real. This is real English. This is the key a lot of students miss about getting a high TOEFL score. You have to use real English. Why is that? Real English users get real TOEFL scores. How about that? Write that in your notes. Let me say it again. Real English users get real TOEFL scores. All right, let's talk about step number six. So, I'm not recommending a 60-day TOEFL study plan for you. I'm not recommending a 90-day TOEFL study plan for you. You, my friend, are in for the long haul. It's going to take you several months. It may take as much, as many months as a, as a year. It may take even up to 1.5 years for you to get this goal if you're serious. If you're serious. If you don't follow any of my suggestions, oh, I'm just going to go take some practice tests. I'm going to go to test and I'll go to ETS. I'll start taking some of the practice tests. You're not going to make it, dude. You will not make it. You cannot get the English that you need by just simply taking a bunch of practice tests. You have to build your academic English language proficiency. So what I recommend in step number six is for the for the first part of your study with my online TOEFL course I recommend that you go through the vocabulary pronunciation and grammar lessons first this is absolutely for you this is the most important part of your TOEFL getting that good TOEFL score you, you're saying well Michael what are you talking about the TOEFL doesn't have a vocabulary section. The TOEFL doesn't have pronunciation. The TOEFL doesn't have grammar. But remember, if you want to be a good reader, if you want to be able to listen, if you want to speak and write and all of that, you must have a good foundation in vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar first before you're going to do well on the reading, listening, speaking, and writing sections. You must come to terms with that. So my recommendation for you here, step number six, I'm going to recommend two months or however long you think it takes to learn the lessons in this course. Right? So that's what I recommend. Then once you've, once you've mastered my vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar lessons, you'll know you master them because you complete practice tests. Once you're getting like 85% on your practice test scores in these different areas, then you know you've mastered the areas in that section of my course. So then you move on to the listening and the reading sections of my course. Here I recommend another two months just focusing in these two sections. Once you've done that, then you move on to number eight which is to go through the writing and speaking lessons. I'm going to recommend maybe another two to three months here. And that's, that's really what I recommend. This is where you're going right now. So my best guess here is this is a plan that puts you at about seven months of solid study. If you're, if you're spending maybe three or four hours every day seven days a week even Saturdays and Sundays if you're following my routine every day seven days a week now I know over once in a while you're gonna fall off the the cart you're not gonna follow exactly my plan but if you're serious in the long term and follow this plan you will be able to achieve your result now you can go into an intensive English program you can spend thousands of dollars every quarter every semester and you still may not reach your goal I'm telling you 
So I, I can save you thousands of dollars if you simply follow the steps in this video. You don't even have to go to an intensive English program to get 100. You can do it on your own by following this plan, but you got to realize that it will take time. Okay, now everything I've recommended here is my suggestion. Once you join my course, I recommend that you join today, by the way, and once you join my course, of course, I will send you your username and your password so you can get access to all my lessons. And you can take a couple of days. You can go through the different sections of my course. You can see how I've organized everything. One of the first things you want to do is to join my Voxypop discussion group which allows you to start posting speaking responses. You can go to the writing part of my course and you can look at the instructions on how you can start posting writing practice tests on a day-to-day -day basis. All of those things, you can kind of see what's going on. If you don't want to follow my suggestions, right? You can do whatever you want on my course. You can work on whatever, however long you want. You control how long you want to use my course. If you want to use it for two months, three months, for seven months, for a year, you can do that. It's whatever you want to do. But I'm telling you, what I'm recommending in this video, I'm being honest with you. I'm telling you exactly what you need to do, how you need to do it, and how long it's going to take for you to reach your goal. I've been honest. So I'm telling you probably a year, maybe a little longer, before you can get over 100. Now, my recommendation also brings us to the last suggestion I'll make in this video. Okay, my last suggestion is once you're in the groove, and you've been studying my course for a few months once you get restless and you want to mark your progress instead of going to the TOEFL exam and paying two hundred dollars to take a essentially a practice test to see where you are right now you can take a full-length practice test I have a website called score nexus and it does cost an additional it costs about thirty four bucks extra to take a full-length practice test it's a one-time PayPal payment that you make and uh, it, it's good. It'll, you'll get your feedback in the reading, listening subtotals. You'll also get your speaking task scored or your writing task scored. And you'll get back an overall score along with subtotals in the reading, listening, speaking, and writing section. So what you can do is after two or three months when you take a full-length practice test, you can see where you are. Then you can make a decision. Are you ready to take the TOEFL exam? For example, if after two months of studying the lessons in my online TOEFL course, following my guide, you're working really hard, you're focusing on the vocabulary, pronunciation, and the grammar parts of my course, so after two months, you take a practice test. If your score is 77, you can go, okay, I've improved, I'm better, but I'm still not ready to take the TOEFL exam. So then you continue to use my course for another one or two months, right? following my plan, following my recommendations, and then you get a little bit restless, you take another full-length practice test. You'll make another payment, 34 bucks, better than paying $200, am I right? So then this time you take the test and you get 86. You can go, hey, I'm better, I'm doing better, but I'm still not ready. You see what I'm saying? Or if on that second attempt, on that second full-length practice test, if your score is 105, you can say, okay, it looks like I'm ready. I'm ready to take the official TOEFL exam. So that's kind of how it works. All right? Anyway, thank you very much for uh, your interest in my online TOEFL course. I apologize if I've been a little bit too direct uh, in my recommendations for you. But what the heck? You sent me the information. You asked me the questions. I've given you my, inf my recommendations. And then you can do whatever you want with the information I'm giving you. All right, so thank you. Have a great day. And all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.